A closed room with uh, uh, which is maintained at a constant temperature has relative humidity 50%. When the room is occupied with few persons, the relative humidity is found to be increased up to 70%. As a result, the water vapor content of inside the room is increased by yeah, easy, super easy, right? There's a closed room. Made at constant temperature. So the temperature here is constant. Relative humidity, RH is 50%. RH is 50%. When the room is occupied by 50%, the relative humidity found to be increased to 70%. So nothing changes in the room, right? Room actually will not change in there. So don't think that the volume changes when it's being occupied by 50%. So no change in volume. So volume is constant, right? No change in volume. So what has happened is that the amount of vapor inside the room was increased. Over the available of the so the amount of vapor that you have at the beginning is M. Right? The amount of vapor that you have right now is not M, it's different. So the amount, current amount of vapor here is M dash. M note is the maximum amount. Maximum. Vapor mass. So what do you call this maximum vapor mass? Also you call it saturated vapor mass. Right? Maximum or saturated. maximum of saturated vapor mass. So in order to saturate, I mean, what are the factors? Saturated vapor mass depends on, there are two factors. One is the volume, the other one is the temperature. None of them are changing. So the saturated vapor mass for both scenarios is a constant, M naught and M naught. It's a constant, it doesn't change, right? So you can write two equations. For this, Rh is equal to M over M naught into 100%, that's the equation. So 50% is equal to M over M naught into 100%. So M over M naught is to uh, half. Can apply the same for the other one also. 70% is equal to M to 100%. So M dash O M note is 7 by 10. Right. So they're asking by how much of a percentage is the wafer content is increased. So the increased amount is M dash minus M divided by the initial multiplied by 100% is a percentage increase. So this is the answer I have simplified. So it's M dash of M minus one into 100%. M dash of M, how do you get an M dash of M by dividing the two equations? Equation number one and equation number two. So you divide two by one. So you divide two by one, you get M dash over M. Seven by 10 divided by half. So it's seven by five. Seven by five minus one. Two by five into another percent. So it's a forty percent. <laughs>